Hello, my name is Lucas de Souza Falcão. I will present the work Modification of Kassab Starch to Produce Films for Controlled Release. The biopolymers, especially the starch, can be used for controlled release of drugs, as they tend to have great versatility and tunable properties. Starch is susceptible to physical and chemical modifications, which can improve a desired property, depending on the product application. Oxidizing agents, as an example, form carboxyl groups which prevent retrogradation, while hydrothermal treatments allow starch modification without a decreasing on granule integrity. Therefore, this work aims to extract cassava starch and study two modification methods with hydrogen peroxide and temperature by hydrothermal treatment. Analyzing the structure and properties of, of modified cassava starch films for future application as controlled release device. For this, we used the following methodology. The cassava was given by popular markets in the city of Diadema, in the state of São Paulo, Brazil. These were peeled, crushed and dissolved in 1 to 3 parts of water and then dried in 45 degrees Celsius. Two types of modifications were selected. The chemical modification was made with hydrogen peroxide, where the starch was dissolved at 1.5% of water and hydrogen peroxide was, add, was added in the concentration of 1.5%. The solution was submitted to a vacuum filtration and drying at 42 degrees Celsius. For the film formation, the modified starch was dissolved in water in the concentration of 2% and glycerin was added in the concentration of 0.06%. Uh, in, in a thermostatic bath on 95 degrees Celsius. The film was then formed by casting at ambient temperature. For the physical method, hydrothermal treatment was used, where starch was dissolved in a concentration of 2% of water incubated on thermostatic bath. The, sol the solution was freezed for 48 hours and towing by 3 hours on 45 degrees Celsius. For the formation of the film, the glycerin was added in the concentration of 0.06% and submitted to thermostatic bath on 95 degrees Celsius by 35 minutes. Films with unmodified starch was also made, dissolving 2% of starch in water and adding 0.06% percent of glycerin again and submitting the solution to steering on thermostatic bed and casting. Therefore, we obtained the following results. Starch extraction was successful with a yield of 14.87 percent and the films produced with modified starch were visually similar to the ones produced with a modified starch with satisfactory aspects. The modified films presented homogeneous and smooth, and smooth surface and fractured, and, and fractured surface, similar to the unmodified films without, without significant changes. The modifications on start diminished the solubility of the films on water, especially the thermally modified films, indicating that the treatments decreases its affinity with water, tendency re reinforced with the swelling tests. Thermally modified starch presented also an increase in young, young, in Young's modules, especially the one modif modified at 95 degrees Celsius, and an increase on the elongation at break, indicating again of elasticity with the thermal treatment and a decrease of the stress at break. Oxidated starch, on the other hand, resulted in films with lower elongation at break and higher stress at break than the unmodified film. In conclusion, the modifications made on starch resulted on changes on the mechanical properties and water affinity that can be advantageous to a wide array of applications, including the use 
of Start Films as matrix for controlled release of drugs. Term thermically modified films exhibiting, exhibited interesting properties, especially the decrease in water solubility and increase on, this on the mechanical properties. We thank you all watching and the public agencies that supported this work. Thank you.